Здравствуйте, Россия! Hi guys, my name is Robiv2 and it's review time! So today I'm gonna review my fourth place already and it's none other than Russia. And we had for quite a long time no news from Russia and well, we finally got to know that it's uh, Sergei Lazarev and the song uh, is Scream. And we had some Sergei realness, Lazarev realness, in uh, well three years ago when he was third and won the televoting uh, vote, and that was some uh, well good uh, huge margin of points, like hundred more than uh, Jamala. So yeah, uh, but anyways. I was so excited for the song, like I've heard it's gonna be a, such a strong, powerful ballad and guess what, I wasn't disappointed, I was very happy with the song uh, that Sergei has gone for something different obviously from uh, his uh, entry from 2016 and I really love this song, I totally buying it uh, but le let's, on the way what watching the music video I'll review it so let's go jump let's jump into this song actually I really enjoyed his performance in uh, 2016 like from the beginning you don't know if it's what, what it's gonna be in the end but you know it's gonna be a ballad. Like it starts off so so calm, so slow, so chill, you know. But you can clearly see it's a story in the music video. And it's dramatic, emotional, and we slowly there's a build up. We're gonna get higher step by step. I like the boy being a, a knight and going to save his princess. And the chorus, they scream, they scream. It's just, oh. It's just, oh, so good. So emotional, so dramatic. I'm just buying this voice. I would love Sergei to sing uh, every morning. Like, oh, that would be awesome, awesome. Like how calm the verses are, like, like how silent. And the chorus, when it comes in, it's such a big power, such a, a huge amount of power, like, oh. That's why I love, that's exactly why I love that. He's swimming on a ship to, the, to her princess, and then the storm comes and BANG! Then the, he drowns, the ship goes down, bang, no rescue. And this, dum dum, and. Ah, this last chorus is just. Oh. So, it's just beyond my thoughts, like, oh, it's so wonderful. And then goes the dragon, Bayon dies. That's exactly why I ex what I expected from Russia. Like, from last year's flop, kind of, well, that's what can, can we call, can call it. Because uh, for the first time Russia wasn't in the final, and, uh, they failed to qualify, and <laughs> this time we have such a powerful 
a dramatic theatrical palette, but it's amazing. It's it's totally the, the voice of Sergei, how much it has improved since 2016. You can hear it, uh, and his live uh, rehearsals uh, I saw on uh, on Instagram. Oh boy, you gotta uh, hear it. Uh, when you see somewhere that, well there are already the live performances of his uh, he's doing a tour in Germany and you can easily check it out on YouTube and it's so so out of this world like oh uh, so amazing his voice the song and I'm just impressed that Sergei uh, no uh, Philip Kirkroff uh, who is behind it, this entry and it's an amazing entry like l last year Doredos was also had also a good song but this one is beyond my expectation like it's oh uh, it's so good I mean I can't just stop listening to it I just love some strong powerful ballads like I uh, did with Albania uh, for example you know um, but yeah Anyways, how it's gonna do at Eurovision? What I expect from the staging? Well, the staging. Mm, it's a good thing. And I have no idea what to expect. I'm sure it will be... Like Russians always do at Eurovision. They have some really good... Like some big fat staging and it, it's always good. Like last year... Well... It was big, because there was a mountain, there were dancers, it, it was cool. Uh, in 2016, we all remember what Sergei served us, the staging, oh, it was choreography. In 2015, Polina Gagarina, what did she do? She was flawless, amazing, fabulous. And I'm sure this time, the, it will be no other... Um, will be for sure surprised that again with the staging with the performance it will blow us away so far to Siberia I I, uh, I predict so uh, I'm really happy that Sergei is back and it's kind of funny you know 2016 Sergei 2017 almost Yulia Samoylova 2018 Yulia Samoylova and 2019 again Sergei Lazarev then I hope it will go this direction and next year we will have the amazing, amazing Polina Gagarina uh, which does very well in the Chinese competition, The Singer. You can check it out there, uh, her, her live performances, yeah, it's amazing. But anyways, let's go back to Sergei Lazarev. Um, this entry has a potential even to win. Uh, I bet it will be very high with the, both with the televoting and the juries. Uh, back then, in 2016, the Russia, if not for this political situation, they would have won for sure. Uh, but this time, the political situation has gone very, uh, very far from our minds, uh, from juries' minds, especially, and we don't remember it, especially the juries. So they won't. Uh, go with this. Uh, televoting will love this entry, uh, so I expect both the juries and televoting to love this so much that it will be in top three. In top five minimum, uh, maybe they, it, Sergei will win both the juries and the televoting, who knows. I would love to go to Moscow. Uh, but anyways, good luck to you Sergei. Just be yourself and slay totally with that sword of uh, yours. Thank you for watching guys. Uh, if you like this video and agree with me do the thumbs up. If you don't then do the thumbs down. Also uh, share, leave, you, leave your uh, opinion uh, comment in the comment section below so we can discuss what is entry and subscribe. I encourage you to subscribe to my channel for, for more of my stuff. Uh, and hit the notification bell again so you can be immediately notified about my newest uploads. And I have also uh, accounts on social media, Facebook, Instagram, the links are in the description below. 
also the uh, link to the destination Eurovision page, which is a Polish source, uh, Eurovision source, which I'm a part of, and we are doing some uh, live streams uh, about some of the acts, some of the songs we're reviewing them now, so you can join us, and again, thank you for watching guys, see you next time, take care, bye!